<laughs> How you doing, baby? Happy Tuesday. And today on Coffee and Conversation with your girl, Shakenya. Well, you get a minute. Go to that YouTube channel, Shakenya, and hit subscribe. Look at some of the videos, and if you see any of them that you like, please hit share. You might not want to share this one because I got an eczema on my face and I'm in my pajamas, but trust me, it's the only time you're going to see me in my pajamas. What up, D? How you doing, baby? Yeah, it's the only time you, you ain't going to see me at the gas station with my pajamas and house shoes on. You ain't going to see me outside with my bonnet on my head. This is the only time at the crib on my back porch area chilling. So, y'all, today, real simple, real simple. I did want to recap. You know, I don't come on on Saturdays and Sundays, but I did come on su Saturday. No, Sunday. I did come on Sunday. Um, pretty much all I touched on was, do your children know that they are loved? Like, how do they know? You know what I mean? Like, what are some of the methods that you use to, to let them know that they are loved? And I threw out a couple, like, you buy them everything. Do you hug them? Do you kiss them all the time? Do you tell them you love them all the time? You know, I, I, I believe in doing all three. I believe in doing all three. So, yeah, so we talked about that yesterday. And I'm going to be honest with you. This right here should be enough. If you're doing all these three things, your baby should know. My mama love me. My daddy love me. Because they do this, they, they, those three things in conjunction. Now, the only time that this might not work is if you got the other parent on the other side teaching the baby how to reject these affections. I know you like, Shakin, who would do such a thing? Why would they go so far? That you would be surprised why people do what they do. Yeah, they could be doing it purposely because they know how you are and how you are with them. Yeah, so they could be doing it purposely. And how they let me tell you how they how you can get a child to reject affection. It's the dumbest stuff ever. But you know, kids, they don't they kids. So you as an adult, you smarter than they are. So you can you can say stuff, you can manipulate them so fast, so easily. It's I'm telling you, kids are getting your car and they don't even know you to help you find puppies. <laughs> Just cause you got candy. I'm telling you. So They can say things like kissing and hugging is a sign of weakness. Yep. Full attention to all my kids. Yes, Daniel. And it shows. You and your wife have done an excellent job with your children. Oh, my God. That little grandbaby is so cute. And that son of yours, he about to go pro. Daniel, I know he's going to college first. You know what I'm saying? But... You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Y'all have done a wonderful job with him, and, and it speaks volumes, uh, D. That's why I talk about what I talk about on here. The fact that you and Kim have, have been able to stay together as long as you guys have and raise your children together, it shows, D. It shows, and it, it speaks volumes for y'all as a family. You know what I'm saying? Good morning, Dion. So, yeah, that's why I talk about this type of stuff, uh, D, because if y'all not able to stay together like you and your wife and raise y'all children, how y'all have raised them, it's good to have a good co-parenting relationship so that y'all can still do that on the sidelines. You know what I'm saying? You over there and you over there, but y'all still working together to make that happen. But a parent can actually do this by telling the child that that's a sign of weakness. Don't be doing all that hugging and kissing. <laughs> yep. Make it seem like you soft. And this can go for a boy and a girl. Yeah. Make it seem like you soft. Yeah, don't be letting nobody hug and kiss all on you. And then if you're a person that was molested, you might take a different stance. You might not allow, you know, your children to be hugging and kissing on people. And that's understandable. That's understandable. But for the most part, when you're talking to a child, it's a manipulation tip. Where, and I know I'm skipping around, but I'm trying to catch, catch everything. But it's a manipulation tip when you purposely don't specify if you say stuff like that like if you tell, tell a child don't hug and kiss nobody but you can hug and kiss your mom and your daddy and your sisters and your daddy, you know and it seems funny but when you're talking to a child you have to be pacific so if you have a parent that's trying to be manipulative they will purposely not be pacific not specify they'll give a blank blanket don't let nobody or everybody 
when they talking to the baby, right? So, of course, the baby is going to be like that with everybody. I started noticing stuff that wasn't right when she was still living here, you know. So, I started to get a little aggressive towards the end, but by the end, it was a little too late. You know, her mind was already made up. Whatever seeds that had been planted years ago had already grown. So, whatever was going to be was going to be period but i did try to stop once i started noticing stuff like some of the things that she said to me let me know that somebody was having an inappropriate conversation with her which is possibly a, a inappropriate relationship and like i said that doesn't always mean molestation but if you have a child mentally it's just the same it's still abuse you know so if you have full control over a child's mind to where their opinion of a parent is this and that in spite of what they know from that parent yeah that's a problem that's a problem, but that's what happens when you use so many of those tips. So, yeah, when you're not Pacific, like I started to notice stuff like, for instance, I peeped on a couple of different occasions that if we were hugging, if one of them came out, hey, Shakira, how you doing, baby? If the grandmama or the dad came out, she would kind of push away from me subtly. And at first, I didn't think nothing of it, but it, it happened on a couple different occasions. It happened um, twice that I can say of right now when we went to go comfort her, when she lost her great eye. And we got up in the middle of the night and went over to her dad's house to comfort her when she told us, she called us and told us that she had passed on. And we were hugging. And then when her dad or her, or, or her, her grandma or somebody came outside, she had hugged closer to, the, to my daughter. And I, I, I was like, okay, I didn't, you know, think nothing of it. And then it happened again when she lost her Popeye. And we went over there, his dad. And we went over there to comfort, right. You hear him right. On her dad's side, she lost family members. And we, me and my children, got up in the middle of the night to go over there and comfort her. Because I raised my children to be each other's emotional support. Yep, I wanted them to have such a tight bond. I wanted them to be able to comfort each other on an emotional level. So, yeah, we went over there to, to yeah. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. So, yeah, that's a manipulation tip. So, going back, they can actually counteract those three things that you are doing to show your baby love. So, if they're telling them not to hug and kiss nobody, you know, don't let nobody do this and do that in the third, and you started to notice that your child is not accepting the hugs that you give, the only method that's working is the fact that you say you love them. I know. After we talked about it Sunday, did you start? Remember, we talked about it being normalized in your home, saying I love you, um, hugging and kissing, like, was it normalized in your home? If it wasn't, did you start Sunday? Yep, it's easy to do. I guarantee you, if you say I love you, they're going to say I love you back. <laughs> I guarantee you, if you go in like you about to hug, they're going to lean in and, and receive it. I guarantee you. And if you act like you about to kiss them, they're going to lean in and give you their cheek so you can. I guarantee you. So if it's not normalized in your home, you can make it so starting today. Yep. It ain't never too late. Never too late. But yep. So just know if you're doing all three of those things in your household and then they go over to the other family house and they telling them not to do the hug and kissing thing and they don't even do it. They don't even do it. Yeah, so two of those things is being canceled out. So, you know, when you be thinking that your child knows some stuff because you know what you down did and what you doing and they turn around and they don't know, that's because that other parent down canceled you out. With all the efforts and everything that you did and put forth for that and to make that happen, yeah, that other parent just canceled you out, period. So you only, only one thing is being affected. You saying that you love them. So you saying it, but they still not getting the hugs and kiss, so it's not being reinforced. So your child might not think that you love them. I know, ain't that crazy? Because that's part of the game plan from the other parent. They got to do that first. They got to establish a way to make this child feel as if they're not wanted. They got to find a way to make this child feel like they're not loved by you. So those are two. I, I know, ain't that crazy? That's why it's abuse. That's why I've turned this all into like a crime scene. Because it's abuse. Because you're, you're playing with that baby mentally. Yeah, you're, you're praying on that baby mentally. Yeah, so, and it's purposely done just to get back at you. I know, ain't that crazy? I know, ain't that crazy? Let me see. So, we use the example. 
Why you think she should know something? Because you know what? Yep, I said that. Manipulation tip, I said that. Remember, y'all? Because, see, y'all got to have allies on that other side. Because, see, when I started noticing something wasn't right, especially with that hugging thing, I peeped that and did her saying some of the things she said. And then when I had a sit down with him, he got up and left, so we never did talk. I reached out to two people in this camp that I thought I had a relationship with. That's why you got to make sure... You got a good relationship with these people. You got to know where you stand with these people. What place, where, where do you play, what place do you play in their life? I can't even get my words out this part. You got to know because when when he wasn't being cooperative and you know that safe space, safe space, I said you guys have to create for one another so that y'all can actually talk about the parenting concerns that you have for the baby. That's another manipulation tip. Giving out your concerns, shouting your concerns out when y'all arguing. He did that a couple times. Good morning, Cynthia. Shout out from Flint, Michigan. He did that a couple times. I know he had threw out one day he was mad at me because I wouldn't let her come live with him. I know that's the only time we talked. And then he had made a comment. You be taking her over to them people house and dropping her off over her over that girl house. Now that's the same girl that I don't seen over his house. She was over there for the prom send off. She was there. stuff like that. You you gotta be careful about because that's something that he threw at me. That was something that we could have had a conversation about. You know what I mean? When you have parental concerns about that baby, y'all got to have a safe space. And, and I know I'm all over the place, guys, but I'm going to bring it back. I promise. But you got to have a safe space to be able to talk about those parenting concerns. That way y'all can have a resolve at the end. But just throwing it out there. Hey, Rudy, good morning. When y'all having an argument, that's not fair. Because <laughs> to this day, I still don't know what the issue is. I still don't know why we beefed out. I still don't know why he hate me so much. I really don't. So don't think that when I come on here this morning, I'm playing a perfect parent because I'm not. And don't think that when I come on here this morning that I'm playing a victim. No, I am the victim. So so that's that's not the case i'm really just coming on here to inform you guys so you can be more aware of what's going on and how you raising your baby i want you to be more of a conscious parent that's all and some of these things that i tell you will definitely help you become that because you'll be not so much on the lookout but you're going to be paying more attention you'll be paying more attention to your children you'll be paying more attention to how they act what they say yeah like she had made a comment one day and she used the word whatever we were talking about she used the word burden <laughs> who, you get who is you talking to over there because why would somebody even say that talking to a child what conversation could y'all possibly be having when the word burden would come up you know what i mean so i guess whatever i'm telling her could possibly be reinterpreted over there with them as to say while i'm saying it that i can be making it seem like she a burden me i'm the type of parent that i'm gonna tell my kids i'm, I'm just straight up with them like if i can't do something i'm gonna tell you why i can't do it <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you how we gonna do it so that you can have it, whatever it is. Yep. Either you gonna work with me so you can earn half the money, or it's gonna be a minute before I can get it. I'm gonna get this paint job, or I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna hustle up on the money, do whatever I gotta do to make sure you have it. whatever it may be. We're gonna come up with a plan to make it happen. But I don't have a problem talking to my kids about that type of stuff. Talk about bills. Yep. How much money I don't pay. But it's not to make them seem as if they are a burden. No, it's just to let them know how real life is, to prepare them for what they're going to have to deal with when they get older and they out here and they doing all this adult team. I know I'm all over the place. I'm, keep up. Just keep up. Right. So, going back. That's a manipulation tip. If you are talking to a child and you're not being specific about what you want from this child, if you're not explaining to this child what you mean when you say what you say, that's a manipulation tip. Just know that if you and the parent is not on the same page, your baby mama, your baby daddy, you can actually cancel out each other with the teachings and the things that you're trying to instill in this baby, the morals and the values. And definitely y'all values is different. Because if you over there teaching the baby love and, the, and whatnot, and they over here teaching this baby how to reject love, they teaching this baby hate. So y'all definitely teaching the baby, hey, J-Rock, y'all teaching the baby totally different values, morals and values growing up, right? Yeah, I know. Ain't that crazy? So I believe in still keeping ties because I'm going to go back to the allies. Remember, I told you I reached out when he didn't get up, when he didn't sit down and talk to me, I reached out to a relative who I thought I had a good relationship with. Yep. Why? Because we in the same field. First of all. Second of all, the last conversation I had with this person, they had just received a flyer from their supervisor about my attitude adjustment youth program because I deal with children with behavior issues. So therefore, I'm thinking we, you know, last time I seen her before that was at the when the when the papa died and I spoke at the funeral or something. So it's like I never had any issues with this person and I felt like it was cool for me to reach out. That conversation went left quickly. They made a comment like something about playing favoritism and then something about both parents got to do their own part. 
do their own part. Do she know what my part is? Obviously, she don't. So I cut that conversation real quick because, see, if not, first of all, we was in a, a public place, and I and, and I don't want to get ignorant for real, for real. Especially when I know that she not know what she say, right? So left that alone. Reached out to a good friend of his. Why? Because I thought I had a good relationship with this person. Why? Because it's the same person that helped me get my vendor certificate and whatnot so that I can use my program in the public school system, right? Again, doing something positive with the youth. So my character speaks volumes, right? For just, just for what I do in this world. So I'm thinking I'm in a safe space with this person. We talking, it sound good, and then it go to the left. So I'm like, that. he done got to both of these people before I Because <laughs> these is his people. They in his camp. So he probably said anything. So for them not to be on board with me or even hear me out or even try to help or even intervene, they're guilty by association now. So that's why they're on the board still right so yeah you gotta have allies because when i seen something was wrong i reached out to them to know a bell yep so when you guys are not on the same page when y'all not connecting y'all not speaking the same language y'all canceling each other out so it's a chance that some of those morals and values get missed and then not on top of that you might be exposing your baby to things that you're trying to shelter them from right like i was trying to shelter her from growing up so fast i wanted to preserve innocence but grandma kept taking her to the beauty salon around these women these grown women is so therefore you 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 you're canceling out my efforts of preserving her innocence you understand what i'm saying you're canceling out the safeguards that i put in place to make sure she grows up as a little girl in the, in the, in the timing that i feel she should be growing up and maturing right because i'm a mom right so yeah so that's it y'all for coffee and conversation with your girl shakenya this is the home edition Y'all talking to me. What'd you say, Daniel? It's roles in parenting for the man and roles for the woman also. And both parents have to be back, in, back each other up regardless of it. And that is correct, Daniel. That is correct. And that's the secret sauce, baby. <laughs> hey, Johnny. Good morning. So, y'all, that's it. I hate to go. I see y'all jumping in and talking to me. But I got to go, guys. I got a lot to do this morning. Yeah, I got to clean out in the basement. Somebody's basement backed up. So I got to get nasty and dirty today, y'all. And it's all good. <laughs> so I'm out, guys. Mwah.